Is Claremont traffic gonna be getting better or worse? Well, we sat down at Claremont City Hall with Lake County Commissioner Sean Parks, and we got you some answers. In this video, we're gonna discuss the many new large and small road projects currently underway, both north of 50 and south of 50. Now our sit down with County Commissioner Parks was close to three hours, and we covered everything from new schools to new hospitals, to economic development in Claremont, Mineola, and the Wellness Way and Olympus Project areas. And there was so much great information that we decided to make it into a three-part series. And today is part one, and it's gonna be all about traffic and road updates. And next, we'll be releasing part two and three, which are updates on Mineola and the Wellness Way and Olympus Project. So be sure to subscribe to get notified when they come out. Now buckle up those seat belts because we have a lot of exciting ground to cover on this first video, the road and traffic update. It's no secret that traffic is an issue during rush hour. Essentially, there's been a bottleneck, a pinch point. Traffic wasn't always an issue, so let's take a look at how we got here. People are attracted to this area because of Claremont's unique hills and lakes. And you can easily find Claremont on a map three different ways. Number one, the signature Claremont chain of lakes and Lake Apopka is easily identified. The second way is look for the mountains and the famous hills of Claremont and Mineola. As you can see on the topographical map, how pronounced the hills are here. And the third way and most common is look for the intersection of Highway 27 and Highway 50. The majority of residents living in Claremont who commute to Orlando travel east on Highway 50 and hook up to the turnpike. From there, they can go the 408 to downtown or continue south to I-4. This also would be the route for those going to Universal Studios, Lockheed Martin, and SeaWorld, and most commonly referred to as the I-Drive area. Continuing south on the Turnpike is also the route they take to go to the Orlando International Airport. Two other major roadways that allow you to move around Orlando without going through the city are the 429 and the 417. The second pinch point for those living in Claremont, particularly on the south side, is the 192, which goes east from Highway 27 and continues south of Disney World and continues all the way to the East Coast beaches. There's Hartwood Marsh that runs east to west, but it never was intended or designed to be high capacity. So as you can see, as our population has grown, more and more demand has been placed on these two main west-east connector roads causing the traffic pinpoints. So now that you have a better understanding of how and why the traffic congestion is what it is, I'd like to share some exciting updates that I believe will provide you with some much needed hope that it's on the path to getting better. And this is where our interview with Lake County Commissioner Sean Parks starts. Okay, so another area of growth is the south side of Claremont. We've heard some exciting things, so if you can kind of expand on what you know has been approved or preliminarily approved, if you can talk a little bit about the roads, updates, timing, um, that's gonna make that area even more attractive. For those of you that are stuck in traffic on 192 or Highway 50, things are moving in the transportation world relatively fast, so we know it can't come soon enough for some people. South of Highway 50 in South Lake County, you know, again, just like in Mineola, it is one of the hottest and fastest growing places in all of Central Florida, really all the, the entire state. It is the epicenter for growth right now. We've always contemplated that there would be a lot of growth and that growth would be coming. And what we wanted to make sure, of course, was that we would have the road network in place and have all that contemplated and thought out uh, before the growth occurs. As many residents uh, of South Lake County, you know, there's really only, you know, three east-west connections. One being Highway 50, which, you know, can have to have its traffic issues in the morning and in the afternoon, going east and west. Another one is Hartwood Marsh Road, which is not designed to be a major east-west connector. It will be, for the large part, mostly two lanes. And then way south of there is 192. So with all the growth that's coming in, those three roads, of course, are not adequate. Obviously the good news is that we put a plan in place 
and there'll be three additional new east-west connectors. We're not just looking at three significant new east-west connectors in the works. There's a slew of major road projects on the horizon set to enhance traffic flow and bolster safety. Let's begin by exploring the southernmost project, Sawgrass Bay Boulevard, and then work our way north. So Sawgrass Bay Boulevard is another important east-west connector. Uh, the good news is, is Lake County has um, planned for that road, has the area for expansion. In fact, that road goes right up to the Orange County, Lake County line. We're just waiting for Orange County right now to make their final approval, and then that road will be constructed, so that'll be another east-west connector that will alleviate traffic. A lot of people that live right in that area are gonna uh, obviously directly benefit from that, that new east-west connector. They will not have to go back out to 27 and go all the way around. They'll now have the ability to go back and forth between Orange County and Lake County. I have many clients who have chosen to live in this area because of the conservation views, and they are super excited about this connection being completed. Can you tell us about the new 516, what it is, when um, the timeline of that, and anything else you'd like to share? That road uh, has been uh, completely engineered. They are now uh, in the process of buying the right-of-way for that entire length of road between Highway 27 and Orange County. The construction is, for that is supposed to start by the end of 2023, so we're talking in a matter of months that road will be uh, under construction. We hope that it gets done within two years. It's possible it could get done less, but we're planning for it to, to take about two years to construct. One of the most interesting aspects, to say the least, is that the road is an electrified road. An electrified road is simply a road that uh, is able to dynamically charge vehicles that are electric vehicles um, as, it, as they are driving down the road. But it's only one of two in the entire world, and it's right here in South Lake County. I think it's safe to say that it will be one of the most conservation-minded and sustainable-minded roads in the entire world. And I don't think we're exaggerating when we say that. For those of you who are investment-minded, you'll want to keep an eye on this area. This isn't your typical connector road. It's a pivotal piece of a bigger vision, set to play a significant role in the economic impact of the Wellness Way project. This means new jobs, and more importantly, an economic framework that we'll discuss more in our third video, the newest update on the Wellness Way and Olympus projects. So a really big question. This is to settle a debate. Is it Schofield or is it Schofield? Uh, okay, so yeah, this is a, a great question and we do get this question often. And so I'm here to officially say it is Schofield Road. Uh, that is what I've heard from the old timers, that it is Schofield. If there's somebody out there that's an old timer that has uh, a differing opinion, please let me know. I'm sure I'll hear about it, but we're gonna go with Schofield Road. Schofield is now paved and open, and it's a great option to go from Highway 27 to the 429. And for those of you who are already using Schofield, you'll be pleased to know that there will be a traffic light going in at Schofield and Highway 27. Schofield also gives Claremont residents easy access to the cherished Southern Hill Farms, which is a real local favorite. If you live locally, chances are you've been there. And for those of you in South Claremont, you'll be happy to know that a future connecting road is in the works, a shortcut from Highway 27 to Schofield that runs just south of Charles Lake. It'll have a roundabout connecting to Schofield just at the base of the famous Mickey Mouse Forest. This will also be the location for the future park within Wellness Way. Again, we're gonna cover this and many other details in the third video update. So another update that I'd like to get from you is on Wellness Way Boulevard. Not to be confused with Wellness Way area, but if you can give us some information on Wellness Way Boulevard, the timeline, and anything else you'd like to share. Things are happening actually a little quicker than I had thought. The engineering is underway for that road as well to go all the way from 27 to the 429, New Independence Parkway. 
and uh, we, we hope that that will be uh, constructed or at least mostly finished within a year from now. Wellness Way Boulevard holds a pivotal role within the infrastructure of the Wellness Way project, making it a cornerstone of our economic development. This thoroughfare not only links people to vital health care services at Olympus and the upcoming new hospital, but also grants easy access to the numerous sports and entertainment venues nestled within Olympus. Wellness Way Boulevard will not only give Claremont residents direct access to the 429, but it'll also give the residents of Hamlin and Horizon West convenient access to Olympus. It's a pathway to a healthier, more vibrant future. Hancock Road to the north is also under engineering right now and right-of-way purchase as well. When the developers um, uh, provided the right-of-way at their cost, a funding structure is in place, so all the funding is there. So it's just a matter of making that connection, and that'll occur within this next coming year as well. Another connector road we see in the plans is an extension of Lake Louisa Road to Hancock. This will allow another easy access point to Wellness Way and the Olympus Project, and will take people off of Highway 27, further reducing traffic. Another expansion that'll help reduce the number of cars on Highway 50 is the extension of Hook Street from Hancock to the 455. This will be a convenient side road that'll allow you to move around without having to get on Highway 50. Another convenient artery that will run north and south that will further allow easy mobility in and around the Claremont area is the future plans for County Road 455. County Road 455 is gonna extend south down through Wellness Way past the 516. This will also help take traffic off of Hancock Road. So as you can see, the south side will have many more options rather than going through the bottleneck of Highway 50. Now let's take a look at what's going on the north side of Highway 50, North Claremont, Mineola, and Montford areas. The biggest improvement to this area was the opening of the Mineola Turnpike Exchange. This was pivotal for Mineola and a huge game changer for this area. Not only is this a great solution for traffic flow, but it also opens up the opportunity for new home communities in this emerging area. Now again, for my investment-minded friends, this is another area of growth that you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on. With the exciting Mineola Town Center, the hospital, and Crooked Can Brewery coming, and many other things coming this, to this area. So I'm gonna cover these in more detail in part two of the video series on the Mineola update. So remember to subscribe if you wanna be notified when part two and three are released. With the new Mineola Turnpike Exchange project completed and the anticipation of the growth of the Mineola area, we're seeing the widening of the Turnpike project well underway and making great progress. The widening of the Turnpike will ensure much higher volume capacity and will also meet the new increased demand. Another important artery that feeds the Hancock Road and the Turnpike Exchange is Citrus Grove. Citrus Grove west of Hancock connects at Highway 27, and this is vital for anyone living on the north side of Claremont because it allows them to jump on the turnpike easily. And it's gonna become even easier when they complete the last section of the widening and rerouting of the road. Now let's take a look at Citrus Grove heading east of Hancock Road. And this is exciting news for those living in Willow Ridge, Bella Kalina, and anywhere in the Montverde area. You'll soon have easy access to all the wonderful and exciting things coming to the Mineola area you're gonna have easy access to. Scrub Jay Lane is being rerouted from Citrus Grove to 561A and adding an additional connector road to Hancock Road. This also includes a new bridge going over the turnpike. The Scrub Jay project will be serving the upcoming communities as well, Mineola Ridge, Parkview Oaks, and Founder Ridge. The new 561 and 561A intersection will also have a new location and a roundabout, making this area much easier to navigate and traverse. What we're really excited about is the extension of Hancock north of Del Webb Mineola, up through Sugarloaf Mountain to the 455, connecting just west of the Green Mountain Overlook. This is an amazing part of Lake County. This new extension will allow access to some of the most beautiful rolling hills that makes Claremont and Mineola famous.
What once was hard to get to and out of the way will become easily accessible, making these new communities highly desirable due to this unique location. And I'll cover all of these communities in the upcoming second video of this three-part series, the Mineola Update. Now, traveling back down the 455 and through Montverde, I'm sure everyone in this area has been enjoying the newly completed three roundabouts and the new bridge. These have made a huge impact on the efficiency of traffic. And personally, I know because I travel this road often and it's so much better than the stop and go at the multiple stop signs, traffic, it now flows freely and definitely more safely. Roads, as you may know, don't just materialize overnight. It's a meticulous process that spans about five years from the initial concept to the tangible reality. And thanks to our dedicated city and county leaders who have demonstrated foresight, they're continually planning and executing these road projects. Their efforts are shaping Claremont and South Lake County into an exceptional place to live, work, and enjoy life to the fullest. So we think it's, it's great regionally. Um, just like all of our roads that are planned in that area are, are great for the region. It improves traffic, it, it provides access um, from, from people that live in Lake County to Orange County, to West Orange, Winter Garden, Windermere of course, Disney World, but it also provides people that live in that part of Orange County to be able to come over and now experience something new in South Lake County. They can come to Claremont they'll be able to go to Wellness Way, Olympus. They're gonna still be able to use the clay trail, by the way, which we know many uh, runners and walkers and athletes like to come out to Lake County to use that clay trail in Wellness Way. So I think the access uh, through these roads, these east-west connectors that are planned, like Sawgrass Bay Boulevard, like Wellness Way Boulevard, like the 516 Lake Orange Expressway, um, only, of course, promote that regional connectivity, but also uh, bring people into Lake County uh, for the reasons that we're known for, for the quality of life, the rolling hills, the uh, active outdoor lifestyle. All that is part of this plan, and um, we want to get these roads built as soon as possible. Um, we hope that uh, we can uh, maintain the schedule and get them done ahead of schedule even. As you can see, there are many new projects, large and small, currently underway, both north of 50 and south of 50, giving you multiple options of travel and that will greatly reduce the traffic over the next few years. So, is traffic going to be getting better or worse? I'm convinced it's gonna be getting better. So I really hope that you like that update on the roads. And don't forget, we have two more updates coming out. All that's coming in the Mineola area, as well as the Wellness Way and Olympus area projects. So be sure to subscribe and you'll get notified as soon as they come out. If I don't see you here in the Claremont area, I look forward to seeing you around the neighborhood.